Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video is a eggnog bunt cake recipe. This is a super moist buttery eggnog infused bunt cake that's drizzled with a sweet eggnog glaze that is a must for the holiday season. Let's celebrate the holiday season with this phenomenal dessert. So all of the items that you will need are here. Three cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, one cup of unsalted butter at room temperature, two cups of granulated sugar, four large eggs at room temperature, one tablespoon of vanilla, and one and one fourth cup of eggnog as well. The first thing I'm gonna do is preheat my oven to 325 degrees. I am going to Go ahead and whisk the flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt in a smaller bowl um, and just set it aside. So once again, that's three cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and then the one teaspoon of salt. Mix that all together by whisking it or just use a spoon to mix it up together. In a separate bowl, I am going to get ready to cream together the butter and the sugar until it is light and fluffy, so about three minutes. The sh butter should be at room temperature, so just leave it out for probably 30 minutes to an hour to allow it time to get to that temperature. Um, you also can put it in the microwave for about 15 seconds. So I'm just gonna cream together that one cup of unsalted butter, which equals two sticks. And then just piece by piece, add in the two cups of the granulated sugar. Okay, so next I'm gonna add in four of the large eggs. These are at room temperature reminder to so just leave it out for maybe, like I said, an hour to two. Um, so add these in one at a time, mixing to combine after adding in each so this is basically your wet ingredient bowl and i didn't realize that i would need more room so i am going to put it into um, a different pan or a different bowl in just a second all right so next i'm going to add in the vanilla which is one tablespoon and then I'm also going to add in one and one fourth cup of eggnog. I will then add the dry ingredients to this, which is why I'm going to move it to a different bowl and just mix it all until it is well combined. I am pouring in the dry ingredients little by little um, to get it to all mix up without making a huge complete mess. I waited until the end to add in that one and one fourth cup of eggnog just so that it was also easier to uh, mix up the last little bit of the dry ingredients into the wet. So in the beginning of the video, 
or you could do it now you could grease um, your bunt pan with butter and then add a little bit of flour or just spray it really generously um, with that baking spray this helps the um, bunt cake to not stick to your pan so here it is I'm warming up my oven to 325 I'm gonna let that warm up while I go ahead and get ready to put this batter into the prepared pan. Now that I'm getting it into the prepared pan, it's not as easy to um, smooth around. So you might have to you move your bunt pan around as you are trying to get it in there. Once we get ready to put it into the oven, we will put it in the oven for about 65 to 75 minutes. So roughly about an hour and 15 minutes. So that we know that it is done. We're gonna bake this, like I said, for about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. We just wanna make sure that it comes out clean. Meanwhile, I'm gonna combine all of the ingredients for the glaze, which is one third cup of unsalted butter, three fourths cup of extra fine granulated sugar, one fourth cup of eggnog, and three fourth teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. With the glaze, you're gonna combine all of the ingredients into a small saucepan over medium low heat, which is to where you're going to whisk it continuously until the batter is um, melted and the sugar is dissolved. If you are using the granulated sugar for the glaze, it might take a little bit longer, so it's best to use the extra fine granulated sugar, but if you have time, that's totally up to you. While the cake is still in the bunt pan, um, you're gonna poke holes all over the warm cake and pour the glaze evenly over the cake and just allow the cake to cool completely um, before you invert the cake onto a serving plate and add more of that glaze on top. Now that I am heating up that glaze, I just want to give you guys some side notes for this cake. Um, you want to allow the cake to cool completely in the pan before you put it onto the serving plate. I will tell you that. So while the cake is hot, that is when you um, pour in your glaze into your poked holes. Once that is cooled down, that's when you'll take and flip the cake over onto a, um, pan, a plate. Um, and then that is how you will store it when talking about storage You want to store it in an airtight container or wrap it with plastic wrap at room temperature for three to four days You can also refrigerate this cake um, for up to five days If you want to make it and freeze it you can freeze this cake wrap tightly with plastic wrap um, and aluminum foil for up to three months just be aware that the glaze might change in texture and it could become a little grainy so thaw it in the refrigerator overnight the holidays are coming up and this would be one of those great recipes to bring to the table for your holidays coming up 
I just wanted to say if you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button down below as I love baking and doing other types of videos. Now look at that glaze and look at that bundt cake made with eggnog.